thought it was going to be a good investment for him. Pretty bad investment. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Welcome to episode oh, six. What the Bitcoin? What's your name? What do you think of Bitcoin? You love it. Love it, man. Hell yeah. I own two. You own two. I'm holding it. Hold on. Hey, hold it, man. Me too. Heck yeah, man. Two Bitcoins. We have got a ton of people out here consuming at the Baybrook Mall. I wonder if any single one of these people are out here consuming with Bitcoin. I'm gonna go ahead and pull into the rooms to go parking lot. I think we might have a patron or two to ask. Here we go. We've got some people right here. Do you mind if I ask you a couple questions real quick? Uh, about what? Bitcoin. Uh, I, I think Bitcoin's a weird currency. I like. I study economics. Okay. And I think uh, fiat currency makes a lot more sense. The amount of money that it takes to mine Bitcoins, it's kind of just like a reversion back to gold, except now it's like an uh, electronic currency. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of it. Zeros and ones doing the same thing that miners used to essentially do. Exactly. Yeah, Kalen, do you have a? Uh... I don't really have much to say. Dad used to do mining actually. He had a uh, he had a whole rig. He invested in. He thought it was going to be a big thing. He ended up losing money because of uh just just go right just follow me guys yeah my dad used to do mining okay uh, he thought it was going to be a good investment for him pretty bad investment he was spending more money on just like the electricity and keeping the rigs going really than to actually justify continuing to pay for them he had like like 20 uh gpus just all plugged in you know we have some friends that are like big uh, computer nerds yeah he had set it up for us uh we had a bunch of gtx 1080s we, we sold them all. I mean, at least you were able to hit the market when it was still high, <laughs> yeah. or did you get, I mean, you probably still took a little bit of a loss, right? Yeah, pro yeah I think it was a net loss, to be honest with my dad. Ed, uh, would you be able to accept Bitcoin for your pinball machine? No, uh -huh. can't do that. Brett, hey, good morning. How's the uh, walk going for you? So far, so good. You know, this morning I was asking you about Bitcoin. I'm just curious uh, to what your initial thoughts on that are. Uh, it's convenient. I use Bitcoin quite a bit to, to purchase, to make purchases. Uh, I find it, it's useful. Really? So do you own it just for transactions or do you own it as investment uh, as well? Just for transactions. Really? Transactions only? Yes. Sir. Okay. And how long are you utilizing a Bitcoin like that? Maybe five, six years. Around when it started basically. Okay, yeah. man. And you know that obviously, you know, the current trading price. Yeah, of of Bitcoin. A bit. If I just held on to it, I'd be a lot richer. But yeah, I didn't. Uh, I wasn't thinking about investments. It's more just trading, buying, purchasing. Okay. Did you do you have any regret? Yeah. I mean, like, just the thought of like, if I just held on to a little bit of it, I'd be a lot wealthier. Yeah. Uh, but you know, can't really dwell on what could have been. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Right? So yeah. No. That's that's basically the extent of Bitcoin. Uh, no investments. Just purchasing transaction uh, maybe alluding to it as a scam or or other people that are like hey you really need to buy this thing because it's the it's the future uh, so the, as far as a scam like not necessarily I, I mean obviously not I use it and utilize it quite often uh, I do know that like back in the, the heyday like when it was first a thing that it was very like it was unregulated market so it's very easy for people with money to pump and dump and like really make money off of it okay uh, to my understanding though it became regulated so it's really hard to do that which the stock market is similar and there's regulations against that uh, I'm not the kind of guy that has the kind of money to like to, to pull those scams, usually I just, I buy the Bitcoin that I need at the time and then make my purchase. So I don't really get screwed one way or another by it. Uh, I think where it lives right now is probably where it's gonna live for a while. I don't know, I doubt it's gonna replace fiat currency. Uh, I think it's just, it's gonna be a very useful encrypted way of people to make transactions when they don't really want it to be easily traced. It's gonna always live on in like black market transactions, like for sure, for sure. And I, I don't think there's gonna be an end to that. So we're joined here today with a with a couple Kermojis. <laughs> you guys uh, own Bitcoin? Yes. What? Well, of course we do. <laughs> Eric. Eric. This morning we're going to be talking a little bit about Bitcoin, man. On the on the rip. Uh, do you have anything to say about Bitcoin right now, off the top of your head? Uh, I've heard a lot of stuff about it. Just don't understand it at all. Uh, it's made a couple of my friends' parents rich. Really? Yeah, they invested early, and then when it went way up, it went way up. When did they invest? Do you, do you know, like a time I, frame? I, I don't know the exact, but it was, from what I was understood, it was the beginning of when Bitcoin was getting started. Uh, 
I mean, they already had a, a good bit of money anyway. They were able to invest, and her dad invested. Yeah, yeah. Do you know about how many years ago it was when they when they cashed in on their on their riches per se? Uh, it was about three years ago. She was living at the apartments. You know, she drives a Mercedes. She just bought her that. I think it was maybe five years, ten years before that. Yeah. So it's like in 2017, but they invested initially in like 2014, early. 2015. Early. Wow, that is very early. And then have you heard about it recently uh, at all? Well, or? I, I haven't heard anything about it recently, but I see those damn ATMs, that Bitcoin ATMs next to other ATMs. And it's like, okay. Yeah. Do you know the current trading price of Bitcoin right now? Ooh, one Bitcoin is what I think like 16,000 something. Probably. Man. <laughs> It's at uh, about wow. 56,000 when I checked this morning. Oh, wow, see, that's been a while since I've looked. It, it had that's a reach. That's ridiculous. Yeah. You one Bitcoin for 50,000, that's out of my reach ever. No, no, no. So you can buy parts of a Bitcoin. Yeah, but those little minuscule parts. Ain't hey, those, those still get percentage gains. True. Because I've always been, like me and Ashley, it's like, okay, what do you do? How do you do it? But you have to have money to invest to do so. A long period of my life, it's always paycheck to paycheck and any little extra that I have, I have an eight-year-old daughter that I make sure she has what she needs first. It's kind of difficult to invest when it's like, okay. No, I get it, yeah. You know what I mean? Is it invest or, I mean, yeah, investing is the better choice to do because that's going to be better for her in the long run. Yeah. But right now she needs a pair of diapers. I mean, now that she's older, it's a lot easier, but other things are now, you know, I'm about to get her into coding. She's already really, yeah, she's super smart. She's been all a honor roll since she's been in school so. and she just loves it. So I, uh, for, uh, all the coding classes, I got, you pay for the year yeah. for the academy and all their courses, you take them yourself, and, but they're actually legit courses with teachers and you can't continue to the next one until you have a prerequisite of this course already. Yeah. So they have an ordained rail system mm -hmm. and it's all online. You know, you have the videos, you can have your classes and then. Yeah, she's pretty cool and she's excited. So I'm hoping she's gonna be one of those people that invents something. Quick little throwback here to episode four. Just saw this on my morning walk. Hey, Mary. Mary. And Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley. Yes, ma'am. They're thieves. Okay, so. Okay, so that was episode six. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe here, watch some uh, more content. Uh, my most recent video outside of this one. Like, comment, subscribe down below, and I look forward to entertaining you guys in episode seven tomorrow. So we're joined here today with a with a couple Kermojis. <laughs> you guys uh, own Bitcoin? Yes. Well, of course we do. <laughs> you love it. Love it, man. Hell yeah. I own two. You own two. Hold on! Hey, hold it, man! Me too! Thought it was gonna be a good investment for him. Pretty bad investment. He was spending more money on just like the electricity and keeping the